702, you're in tune to the Upper Room with Joe Kelly on 88.5 in Fairfield, Connecticut. And uh, I told you this is going to be a really special show because uh, we have, uh, we want to thank Professor Louie and the Chromatics for coming by and playing live uh, tracks from Flying High. And uh, we also have a great, great band from Fairfield, Connecticut, hometown band and uh, outstanding live real musicians uh the triple threat blues band and the fellow who's been fronting the triple threat blues band for all this time is uh, a fairfielder mr chris cass and we're going to welcome to wvof chris cass hi joe thanks how we doing yeah great to have you and thanks you know to the band uh for being accommodating and how about the squeeze in here yeah we're squeezed into a tight <laughs> little studio space but it, it's working good the, the, the tightest place you guys have ever performed? Cafe Nine, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> or there was the uh, the old uh, the Village Pub, remember that one? Kind of standing on top of each other there. So, uh, we're going to make do, right? Oh, yeah, this yeah. is roomy by, yeah. by those standards, yeah. <laughs> so what's been happening with the Triple Threat Blues Band? I know uh, you're doing some gigs, and, and you also have some upcoming things. Yeah, uh, the usual stuff, which is that we keep at it with the gigs. Uh, a lot of Fairfield County and New Haven County type stuff. Um, new originals. Uh, mm-hmm. We'd like to probably, hopefully, debut a, a, a tune for the very first time here tonight. Um, uh, you want to go to the CD? We can play something off the CD. Not all that old a CD. Pretty recently released last year. We, we'll, we'll queue up a tune called Prey if you want to do a tune next. And uh, I can plug two things. The website, triplethreatbluesband.com. It's always got all the upcoming shows. And we got a show this Friday night in the area, Shelton, Connecticut, 127 Center Street, the infamous and actually awesome Cafe 127. If you haven't been there before, great club. So, you know, hit the website. Where, or we where is that downtown in Shelton? It's on Center Street, which is basically kind of, kind of downtown Shelton, kind of a main drag area there in Shelton. And it's a tr- terrific little kind of no frills bar real real conducive to a to a like you know down and dirty blues type of thing it's right. awesome and that's friendly, what you guys would tell about yeah, yeah. that's I'll kind of our deal yeah. you know right <laughs> so uh our folks listening out there uh wvof.org on the internet and uh the station how do you like the new studios Awesome. I don't think you've seen the old ones right i have not even been on campus since they did this whole addition to the campus center it's smoking Maybe, maybe it was a good thing you didn't see the old studios. I know Patch <laughs> Cummings has seen the old studios. Oh, but of course. Special guest Patch Cummings with us yeah, here tonight. Right. And uh, let's see. Should we introduce the band when the, the full uh, ensemble's here? Yeah, w- whenever. Okay. Or, you know, we'll say how to, let's say hi to the guys who are in the studio right now. Chris Grennan on the drums is back there. Can we hear you if you yell? Hello? Pat Sada, longtime bass player from the Triple Threat Blues Band. Darren McGuire is in the house. And not not here, but uh, just just outside the door is uh, singer Danny Labick, who you will hear shortly. Right. And he also uh, wrote this song, Pray, right? Yeah, this one's a Danny original, absolutely. All right, we're going to get into it right now. This is from Jump and Shout, the Triple Threat Blues Band. And their website, you can go right there at this moment while listening to the show, triplethreatbluesband.com. They are from Fairfield, Connecticut. Yes, there is great music coming out of this area. Thanks, it, Joe. Definitely. So uh, we'll hear some of it right now. This is called Pray from Triple Threat Blues Band. And we'll come back and hear the band play live here on WVOF. Well, I, I can't wait. The warmth of my home And the love of my friends Well, just in one week I get up and leave Surely pray for you. I 
and all of my friends. Okay, we are going to roll for the next 50 minutes or so. Clear my throat there. The Triple Threat Blues Band are in the studio, and uh, we've got a great ensemble of great musicians, and uh, it's going to be a mixed thing. We're going to have uh, some selections from their CDs, and also uh, the full band is going to play, but right now we are going to hear uh, the leader of the band, Chris Cass, who is uh, going to play acoustic guitar and sing, and uh, this should be really nice. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, this is Chris Cass. Real quickly here, even older song than that, Staggerly. say 
blood Billy D. Hines was lying down on the floor That bad man Oh, cruel staggerly Just uh, the guitar and his great voice. And Next thing I would like to do is add Danny Labick into this little ensemble, but he seems to be outside in the hallway sneezing right now, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, Danny Labick, of course, uh, lead vocalist with the band. So we'll bring him on momentarily. I don't know if you want to chat or... Oh, uh, yeah, we could chat. Like so so uh, if, if we could pick up everybody. If you could picture this in Radio Land, we're in the production studio, uh, and we have a, a five-piece band who pretty much brought their entire gear, which is cool, and uh, we are crammed in here, Patch coming along for the ride, and uh, all the way from Los Angeles, California, but uh, Dan Labick, we should uh, introduce to the uh, upper room at WVOF, how you doing Dan? Very good, very good, good evening. So uh, what, what's been happening with yourself lately, how, how things going? Things are good, things are yeah. very good, you know, you know, ran some music. And, and we heard uh, "Pray," which uh, you wrote for the band. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. We wrote that actually up in Boston many years ago. Right. And I uh, wrote it to Triple Threat, and we played pretty nice. And uh, you guys play in the local area quite often. Alice Place. Uh, uh, yeah. Have you played there in a while? Oh, uh, yeah. We're we're kind of regulars there, and some right. of the some of the you know local establishments up and down the Post Road and Fairfield, right. what I call the Post Road tours, kind of our regular deal. Right. Uh, New Haven area too, a little bit and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, you know, Avenue Cafe, the various you know biker bars, what, what have you. I I had a I I like the uh, Avenue Cafe, but All I right. went there. I I took a friend from Montreal over the <laughs> summer, and here I. Uh, he he had like a, a yellow shirt. It, it, he wasn't dressed like a biker going in. <laughs> yeah. So we walk in and we're looking and and the guy outside is pretty verbose about welcoming people. I don't know. Do you know the owner? I think uh, I know the owner. owner. I don't know the guy that works the door uh, really. Because and me and my friend we just was okay. Let's give it a go because we want to see a band playing there. And the guy was as soon as we got out of the car, he's like. Hello, welcome to the Avenue Cafe, blah, blah. He was real nice. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're pretty, very, they're very nice. They're yeah. very, very nice. And the place we're playing this Friday, the 127, is very much out of that same mold. It looks real down and dirty. It's tough. The bikes are out front. It looks like a real tough biker joint. You go inside, it's the same people there every time we play, and as nice people you'd ever want to meet. And, you know, we, you know we'd love to get some, some of the people that listen right. to this type of show down there because they love it. It's a great, great, great little look key establishment out in Shelton there. And uh, you can go to tripletreatbluesband.com for the tour schedule, upcoming shows, and they're hard at work on a follow-up to the CD, which is called Jump and Shout, and uh, we'll reset the table who's in the band. Uh, on drums, Chris Grennan, who's familiar with uh, this place, as he's a graduate here at Fairfield University, and on bass, Mr. Pat Sada. I pronounced the last name. Sada. Okay. As he enters on cue right How there. You doing? Pat sat on bass. <laughs> and on saxophone, Darren McGuire. <clears throat> and also Dan Labick on vocals and mm -hmm. songwriting. And uh, his partner on songwriting, Mr. Chris Cass, guitar and vocals. And uh, I'll, I'll let you guys yeah, go. Let's play I'm not going to get away here. We'll bang them out real quick for you here. Old Blind Lake tune called Good As I've Been To You. Good as I've been to you 
long Good as I've been to you Long, long Good as I've been to you so Take my money, honey Buy your shoes and clothes Buy your shoes and clothes Long, long Buy your shoes and clothes You gon' quit me, baby And Chris Cass right there. Now, when you guys are, uh, I'll ask you a question, uh, breaking it down to a stripped down version like that with yourselves as opposed to the band version, play, playing a live show, do you ever get acoustic like that or this? this yeah, is a we, we throw it yeah? in a little bit, you know, kind of open up a set by doing a couple acoustic tunes or something mm -hmm. like that. <coughs> Periodically. Not, a, you know, we don't push it too hard. Usually when the rhythm section needs it. Oh, okay, yeah, it works out know, like that. Breaks, things like that. The acoustic <laughs> right. set comes in real handy. Um, how about your influence? I mean, you're playing some some really stripped down uh, old bucket blues it's old there. Bucket yeah, blues and folk music. Yeah, you know, we did on. What were you guys listening to growing up? Uh, I mean, I can answer that. I mean, growing up, at some. I mean, w once I got into playing a little bit and started seeking guys out, it was just all the blues guys, chess records guys, and and you know Chicago blues. Junior mm -hmm. Wells was one of the first guys. Butterfield Blues Band is one of the primary influences as far as what we kind of try to model ourselves after. So I don't want to say sound like because our instrumentation's different, but uh, our approach, you know, good hard Chicago blues as far as the band and as far as acoustic stuff. Uh, Country blues, Blind Blake, uh, Elizabeth Cotton, uh, you know, you know uh, I love Skip James. We're going to do a Skip James tune next, he, mm -hmm. you know, Robert Johnson, th things like that. And uh, also, you guys, on the website, I think there's a little bit of the history of uh, some blues stuff, right? Yeah, we yeah. try to make the site a little different by putting a little bit of anecdotal stuff. Uh, we got permission to post some quotes from some books, biographies of some old blues guys. Just good introductory blues stories as far as the folklore of the blues uh you know the stuff about robert johnson at the crossroads or wc handy first hearing the blues and things like that um just kind of make it a, a fun way of introducing new people to the blues and then we try to get a little deeper uh with the links and stuff like that for if people want to use the site as a place to really get get heavy into learning about the history of american yeah, roots thanks, music thanks you know? to put uh my show's link up and, and yeah, we did some, really we did some stuff for the local yeah. radio guys yeah. that have yeah. helped, helped us yeah, out thanks. you're, you're definitely Right up there <laughs> Nothing yes. but love. Well, <laughs> you know, love. yeah, it's a mutual thing because you guys help us out tremendously. And uh, if you just tuned in, this is WVOF in Fairfield, Connecticut. A couple other shows uh, on the station need to uh, promote and say uh, the House of Hardcore. Got any hardcore tunes? <laughs> Wait till the whole band fires it up, bro. Oh, okay. It's hardcore something. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> House of Hardcore, which is uh, Wednesday nights, 10 p.m. until 2 in the morning. And then... Uh, Coming up tonight at 8 o'clock to 10. Don't forget the dumplings with Lance Murdoch and Grover Pheasant. And uh, But we got a ways to go. 
We've got the Triple Threat Blues Band in the studio. Their website, tripletthreatbluesband.com. And uh, what you guys want to go with now? One more, one more acoustic one, and then we'll fire up the band after that if it's okay. Okay. Uh, real, old, boys. Re- real old, real uh, old, <laughs> da- this is the most down and dirty one that we got. Yeah. Skippy James. <laughs>
right, another great, great song from the Triple All Threat. Right. And well, that is you, you. Chris Cass on guitar. What kind of guitar is that, Chris? That's a National Steel Body guitar. Uh, they started making these back in the 1920s, and this is not a real old one. It's a, it's a 1990s one, but they are just smoking guitars made to last a thousand years. I get this one courtesy of Jim Knapp, who is the executive producer of our album. Um, and they're just, uh, you know, they're monsters. You, you, you can hear what the deal is as soon as you hear it. All right, and uh, also, you know, a little side note: you work with uh, Danny Neff, right? On, yeah, that's on this right. Album? That's right. We did a project with her. She uh, actually a student of mine, young lady, smoking upcoming future, you know, heavy blues guitar player, um, and uh, she wanted to get a CD out and needed a backup band, so they asked us to do it, and we backed her up on her project, and uh, we we were happy with it. Came out real nice, and she 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 is plays she, all she the playing a lot guitar of guitar still. It. She's doing an awful lot. She's a freshman at Yale University right now, so uh, if she's doing what she's supposed to do, she's hitting the books and playing maybe not a ton of guitar, but uh, she, you know she's she's doing a good job and she's working on getting a band together to hit the New Haven area. Maybe maybe time to come back uh, this this uh, holiday season for some lessons. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, no, she right. still she still pops in once in a while. Right. We're working on some stuff, but she's a smoking guitar player, and uh, you know, like I said, trying to get the band together. She got her CD out. She, uh, all the profits of that CD go to the Rhythm and Blues Foundation to help out, uh, basically, guys that are blues players who uh, never really got the royalties that they had. They're old guys now. They got medical problems, and they need some bread. So the Rhythm and Blues Foundation out of Washington D.C. helps them out. Mm -hmm. So uh, all that information can be found at TripleThreatBluesBand.com. And uh, you heard on the vocals there, Mr. Dan Labick. So uh, where, where does all that soul come from and all that great, great uh, moving vocals? Uh, frankly, I, I really don't know. Okay. Um, and we're not going to find no, out tonight. No, no. Well, you know, it, yeah, you might find out. But uh, it, it's something I never question. Uh -huh. I, I never um, second guess it. I just kind of keep plugging along with it. And uh, I love doing it. And it, it means a lot to me, you know, and I, n I never feel happier un until I'm doing it. Right. So that's pretty much how I work with it. You know, yeah, now, you grew up in Fairfield, as did Chris. How about the rest of the band? Um, uh, if we could get, I know it's a, we, we've got Chris Grennan, and uh, I guess we'll share mics. So I'll, I'll, I'll let him say. Matthew Pico, Long Island, and then I came up to Fairfield to uh, actually attend Fairfield University in 91. And the spring of 93, I left the university, but I finished up uh, by taking night courses in 98. So I do have a degree from this fine university. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. some of his tuition money is probably uh, in the studio. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Pat's out on Pat's base. Mike. If we can work him over here. How you doing? I'm uh, from Milford, Connecticut. Uh, I met Chris through an open jam one night in Devon about seven or eight years ago. The legendary they, Star Cafe. Yeah, and they were going through a transformation, new bassist, singer, <coughs> adding, uh, another horn player, and he saw me playing at the jam and asked me to come down, and it's been uh, history ever since. It was his pelvis movements, really. <laughs> <laughs> which, which he may unveil again tonight, uh, right? He might. <laughs> For radio only. Yeah. And, of course, on the saxophone, Mr. Darren McGuire. How you doing? I'm from Bethel, Connecticut. Bethel, yeah. And uh, I was actually at, well, I answered an ad in the paper in uh, the Fairfield Advocate. And uh, I came to a rehearsal and everything. I met the guys and, and talking to Chris Cass. Turned out we lived in the same apartment building in Boston at the same time. Oh, we really? We know each other. And it was just, it was just, and we had, like, a mutual friend that we both knew, but, like, our time, like, overlapped with him. And, uh... So my first gig with these guys, I joined the band like on a Saturday, and we played the following Saturday at Toad's Place, and that was like in 1995, so I've been here ever since. And uh, we are going to hear very, very shortly uh, the full sound of, of the uh, Triple Threat Blues Band. And, uh, you know, if you heard some of the, the low... Uh, the low voice... It's because we're we're so tight in here as far as microphones and people moving around. So, but uh, it's going to sound real nice live here on the Upper Room with Joe Kelly and WVOF. So, um, I'll ask the band. And we're going to fire you, up a uh, fire up a full band. We're going to go with uh, one room mic, or you want to go with? Uh, let's uh, 
let's see if we can just yeah, mm. let the one room mic go. And okay. I don't think we need to worry about these other I'm mics. Gonna, I'm going to turn this we'll around. We'll see what happens. We'll turn this around and we'll use this one. And uh, we should get a good sound. This is the Triple Threat Blues Band. And it's uh, live right here on the Up Room with Joe Kelly on WVOF. Live music, ladies and gentlemen. All right, hook a pad. <laughs>
difficulties or, or do we No, it's it sounded fine. Okay. And uh Let's put some mics on here for the fellas. Triple Threat Blues Band playing live in the upper room with Joe Kelly concert series. And uh, how, how's it sound? Nobody had headphones on, right? No, we're no, just playing no. in the room here. Okay. It, it sounded fine here. We'd like to debut a new Danny Labick original tune right now. All right, all right. Yeah. The song is called um, Man Enough. That's right, this Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wrote this on the way to the, the, the radio station tonight. <laughs> One, two, three, four.
I love that one. <laughs> Again, the title title on that is what? Man Enough. Man Enough. New from the Triple Threat Blues Band. And they're from Fairfield, Connecticut. And uh, some of the members from just around here. But uh, how about recording on the new CD? Um, what do you guys want to do? Or where are you going to record it? Any, any? Nah, our, <coughs> next thing might, our next thing might be a home recorded deal. And it, uh, we're a little torn. The next, the next thing up might be a home recorded deal where we play just much like we're doing here and just unleash in our rehearsal space and do mm -hmm. a home recording project and, and, and whip them up and present what we really present right in, in bar room type situations. Right. No, it, it sounded great, the, the new material, and it sounded great through the headphones. And <laughs> um, speaking of which, uh, well, I, I realize our time is limited here. Um, we'd love to... Well, we really haven't played oh, yeah. electric blues. Yeah, let me... Uh, we got a request from a fellow who's in another Fairfield band, sure. kind of like a band who's never ready to do stuff. They wanted uh, to request something from you. What they what they call out? For? We're not playing it, no matter what it is now. Okay. I don't think they figured you'd, you'd play it. Mustang Sally or something. Yeah, something like Mustang something. Or, is that what they wanted? Yeah, they wanted some Mustang Sally. Up and away, my beautiful. Yeah, there you go, Fifth Dimension. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, I just want to relay the message, you know. Is that really it, Mustang Sound? Yeah, yeah it was Mustang Sound. Come on. Yeah, Johnny, yeah. Refused, they refused to play that as, as we have largely, largely refused to play that tune also. It's one of those songs that everybody plays, so we try not to. Right, so. steer clear. How about Blues of the Feeling? You want to just jump right into that? Yeah. <laughs> what are you, how are we doing on time, Joe? Should we bang through two more, or do you want us to just do one and uh, uh, you, well, you we, can do a proper outro to your show? I'll, I'll tell you, we got ten minutes on the airways here at WVOF Live, and then maybe we can, uh, let's see. Can you say we love you? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, why don't, why don't I uh, reintroduce the band and uh, sure. let the listeners know. I'll give you the email address because this will re-air on a, another outlet for three days, three Great. nights, very uh, within the next couple of weeks. But it's uh, eastwestdj at aol.com, and uh, we'll put you on the mailing list and uh, also look at the website creativity and music and that'll be up there for uh when you guys will be on awesome so uh we'll go around and, and talk to the band one more time and i guess we'll you know what we'll say <coughs> our goodbyes now because sure. you guys can play through if they okay. want it fade in the other studio if they want to fade, yeah, us, out, fade us out that's cool. they can do whenever they want sure. um we've got uh on guitar vocals he brought an array of guitars today we needed four guitars today because we played a little acoustic and then a steel body guitar and once we get into the electric thing, it's nice to have an extra one if you pop a string. So there's four guitars here in the house. So that's uh, Chris Cass, who's uh, originally from Fairfield, still residing in Fairfield, and the Triple Threat Blues Band. Still going strong? Still going Over strong. Over 10 years at least, right? Like 15, 15 years, right? yeah. It's actually, this sounds crazy, but it's really kind of approaching the 20-year mark here because we started back doing shows in high school. Uh, it sounds crazy, but it's going on 20 years now. Wow. So, thank so, you. Hey, thanks to you. Conti <laughs> yeah, continued uh, creativity and uh, all that great passion thanks, for the music so and, you know, talented musicians uh, all around here. Chris, yeah, yeah, our drummer was probably three when the band started, right? <laughs> He's the youngest guy in the band. The band. youngest cat in the band, Mr. Chris Grennan on drums, who's behind me, and uh, he's also a graduate here at Fairfield University. Thank you, John. <laughs> so also on saxophone, Mr. Darren McGuire, and, and thanks for coming out and play, yeah, playing the job. saxophone. Wow. Loved it. Loved the sound of the whole band. And also Pat Sato on bass. Thanks again, Joe. Appreciate and and uh, it sounded good. We're rocking the walls here, and uh, we're going to go out. Let me thank Professor Louie and the Chromatix, who were uh, the uh, on first. Yeah. Uh, this has been a oh, band. Oh, they're fabulous. Yeah, this has been a band, you know, real highlight when you can have musicians come in uh, for four hours. Professor Lou Louie and the Chromatics, WoodstockRecords.com. And, uh, oh, I forgot. Dan yeah, Lewis. I was just going to say, one, one last yeah. thing. You, one know, you know last what? thing. You know what? I, I was working here, and I said, "Let me, let me work around the room." And here, I almost forgot Danny. I didn't mean that wasn't intentional. It's all right. I'm Not only Danny. <laughs> Go ahead, do your thing. Yeah, Danny, yeah, that's right. Say hi to your people. Hi to people. <laughs> Oh, thank and, you very much. And, and we alluded yeah. before to Patch Cummings, Patch Cummings. Being in the room. We should get Patch Cummings on the and mic here because... Uh, is, uh, Patch's he, real name is Machine Gun Kelly. For those who don't hey, know, you he, know, handles, you know what? he handles the website design this, for the band. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, yeah. Machine Gun Kelly, uh, Triple Threat Blues Man. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Patch Cummings is in from Los Angeles, and uh, we'll hear 
uh, more from him in, in later shows. Always a, a great friend of the upper room. He's a regular. He's a regular. He's, he's a very irregular guy. Does he ever leave? Uh, he's been on. He's, he's a VIP. He's Is been it? double digit appearances. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the triple right. threat blues band.com. Check them out this Saturday night. Friday, 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 Friday night, Friday, uh, Friday. Uh, Cafe 127, Shelton, Connecticut. Smoking place. We'll play Blues with a Feeling right now. Before we do, just let me say hi to my, my I got little kids that'll get a kick out of being on the radio. So I got to say hi to Leah and Lucy and Ellen, who are all at home, my wife Ellen and the kids. Emily. And Emily. <laughs> hey, all right, Leah. here comes Blues with a Feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>